this is a, another unboxing slash um, taste test. So this is a Amazon version of that. So I've been seeing Charlie D'Amelio drink this a lot. I know she's sponsored by them and everything. So she kind of like has to say it's good. But I also to an extent don't think that she would work with a company that she doesn't like. Just for like the sake of it. So I thought it'd be cool to try. I will have them linked in my description if you want to pick them up for yourself. Um, I ended up getting the variety pack. So they do have packs where it's just like all one flavor, but I want to try them all. So it looks like there's blueberry, pomegranate, watermelon, blood orange, uh, coconut, colada. And it looks like it has... Um, Elderberry, antioxidants, vitamins A, E, zinc, and it's for immunity support. Personally, I think the blood orange citrus sounds the best. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try the blood orange one first. I'm not going to try all of them just because I don't want to like open them all up and then have to drink them, you know. I mean, I guess I could do that. I go through water pretty quickly, but... Also, want to go through some of the other um, stuff on here. So I will say this is very much so not keto friendly. It looks like on the nutrition facts, there's 17 grams of total carbohydrates. And then there's 90 MCGs of vitamin A, 32 MG of vitamin C, and 1.5 mg of vitamin E, 5.5 mg of zinc. Looks like the ingredients are co <coughs> coconut water, filtered water, citric acid, fruit and vegetable juice for color, sea salt, uh, elderberry powder, and yeah. Not entirely sure where the carbs are coming from. I wonder if it's possible that maybe it's coming from the coconut water, but... Because it only says that there's one gram of sugar. Hey, citric acid, no. Yeah, not, not too sure where the carbs are coming from, to be honest. But um, it's 10 calories per bottle. The blood orange actually tastes pretty good. That's really refreshing. I do like that one. I give that like an 8 out of 10. Um, next we have the pomegranate. That tastes like it's supposed to as well. I don't know really what to compare it to. It kind of like when it comes to being refreshing, reminds me of Bai, but at the same time, Bai doesn't have, like, a really strong, like, coconut taste. Because I feel like when I taste the coconut, it's, like, kind of an afterburst more than anything. This is the um, watermelon one. Oh, the watermelon's really strong in that one. And what I like is a lot of the times when I have like drinks that aren't like by like some off, something that's supposed to be similar to by, the artificial taste of the thing tastes so much like, it doesn't taste like what it's supposed to taste like. It tastes like an artificial like candy type thing, but that's not the case here, which I really like. What was that other one that I didn't try yet? Oh, this one, the coconut. Colada. Wow, the coconut is like hella strong in that. I think that tastes a little bit of pineapple too. Personally, I, I like this one the least amount, but honestly, I'm not like the biggest like straight up coconut fan. So do I think that these are worth the price? Um, how many do I get? Three. I paid like $23, $24, and it's $12, so. 
That's a little bit less than $2 each. Yeah, I would think it's worth it. I wouldn't drink these all the time because of the price, but these are definitely something that I think if you really were like looking to be hydrated quickly, like after a workout or something like that, or if you wanted something to drink like before work, I think that this would be like a good like thing to have. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for the video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And like I said, if you want to pick these up for yourself, they will be linked in my description.